even 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 easier to just learn magic and that's the beautiful thing about magic it's a mystery i'm not gonna sit here and bullshit you and be like you've got to go okay okay i think we're live we are up and running and recording hello guys and welcome back to the ricky tura podcast episode is it 68 or is it 69 it'll be in the it'll be in the title of the video but yeah guys i hope you're doing well um i hope you've been keeping safe and doing all that good sort of uh just 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 keeping well man you know just i hope you had a great week um or if you're having um you know some sort of a bad week you know there's always uh there's always light at the end of the tunnel so just keep your head held high man's doing a bit of an inspirational thing <laughs> for the start of the uh, podcast episode uh, but yeah guys do you know what as the title says this is what i love about magic part two and we're just going to go straight into it because this is the second part to the video if you have not seen the first part of the video i highly recommend checking that out first just because i talked about a lot of the front end stuff that i personally love about magic uh just a quick recap i don't want to take up much of your time uh just a quick recap it was connections confidence bringing people together approach anyone learning something powerful have the power to make someone feel something um you know handling cars practicing and it paying off those i got into depth with in the last episode for this episode for part two i'm going to be talking about what i love magic as a whole as in like the magic community way so that is things like magic community what products are on the market how you can get into it and why it is easier more than ever so if you're interested in that this is this is definitely the podcast episode for you and i'm going to tell you a little story as well uh of why I love magic. So we're going to start off with a story time into this part time, part time, part two episode. Strap yourselves in, guys. So I watched, like I say this nearly in every episode, I watched Dynamo on TV back in 2011. And I went straight to YouTube after one of the episodes. And I went onto YouTube and I typed in magic tricks. And it came up with a load of self-working magic tricks and these were my emirates playing cards that i've talked about in the last few episodes and i remember watching miss mag 822 and i i'm trying to remember the exact trick i did i believe it was a self-working magic trick and it was basically making certain cards appear after a certain amount of numbers so it's basically i show somebody um basically this card trick and it's like i'm going to make four piles and the amount of num the amount of cards i put down onto the table after so many counts like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's say on the tenth one i would say what card that would be yes okay so it's come back to me now yeah so after every count it would be after the letter of the card so if it was the eight of clubs i'd go um E I G H T O F C L U B S, and then after that, I'd turn the card over, and it would be the eight of clubs. So I do that in each four of the piles. Uh, it was awesome, honestly. I I really don't know how to do it now, but that was like my first kind of magic trick that I learned um, back then, and that's why I loved it so much because it was just that curiosity and knowledge that I wanted to to learn something so that was me that was a 13 slash 14 year old ricky straight after watching dynamo going into his bedroom loading up google and you know going on youtube and watching a magic tutorial everybody has a pack of playing cards in the house so i found their memories ones in my room no problem whatsoever and went straight there got into it. it only took me about five ten minutes to learn practice 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 and just showed family and here we are right now the rest is history the reason why i'm telling that story guys is because 
it was that easy for me back then to just look up something and learn it straight away. That was in 2011, guys. Okay? This is 2023. And with the likes of social media, TikTok, anything, these five-second videos, it's even, and I mean even, 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 even easier to to just learn magic right now because you don't even have to go onto YouTube. You can just load up TikTok, Magic Trick Revealed, and you can literally learn it in like 15 seconds, whereas back then on YouTube, I had to click on one and I had to learn it for about 10 minutes. And I know this is going into in-depth about the psychology behind it, but I'll like span of attention's decreased, obviously with five second videos and stuff like that. So a lot of people would struggle now to watch maybe a 10, 15 minute tutorial. So being on TikTok or YouTube short, something like that, it'd be a lot easier to, to learn something in a shorter duration of time. I'm either, because I'm so used to it now, I can, I can do either if I'm honest with you. But the point is, magic is so easy to learn now. And that's what I love about it. There's so much easy access. You don't even have to buy it. You can just literally go on Google. I'm pretty sure that still all the magic tricks that I learned back in the day off Miss Mag 822, Andy Feel Magic, etc. They're still there to this day. It'll just be a bit weird because when you click on it, it'll be like the videos from like over 11 years ago. And it does make me feel a little bit old. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. It does make me feel a little bit old. But... It's the old videos that are the great ones. And I know people are just like, kind of just re-upload it. Or create their own version of it and then re-upload it to like, I don't know, six months ago where it's uploaded on YouTube. However, you know, it's the old school uh, magicians on YouTube that uh, I really love as well. So it's more easier than ever to, to watch magic, to learn magic. And to appreciate magic, come on, you've got to you've got to appreciate the art form as well. And that's what I love about it. It's all over. It's not like it's small where you only have to go into a certain social media app or anything like that. Now, it's everywhere. So you, like I said previously, you don't even have to go on YouTube, but it could be on Facebook, it could be on Twitter, etc., etc., etc. And right now, you're getting a lot of magicians that are a lot more known than the magicians that used to be on TV because TV used to be the outlet where you'd see magicians. So the whole thing's kind of flipped now where it's like the social media magicians are kind of the well-known ones now. And to be fair, I haven't heard from Dynamo in a while. And I honestly, I know he's got something cooking and brewing, but, you know, I'd love to see what he comes out with next because he's the OG uh, for me. Obviously, he's the one that got me into it, and I was just kind of curious as to how it happened, and the rest is history. But yeah, I'm excited to see what what he does as well. And that's the whole thing about magic. This is me talking as a fan of Dynamo. I'm already saying to you, I'm excited to what he has coming out next. And that's the beautiful thing about magic. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, like, as a fellow magician as well, I'm excited to see what somebody else has coming out, and I don't even know myself. And it, I appreciate a load of magicians trying something new and revolutionising the magic community and the way that people perceive and see magic. Personally, for me, I feel like everybody should love magic, but you can't get that. Just like as you can't be successful if everybody loves you, you know, you got to have people that hate you as well. So that's the thing with magic, you got to have people that love magic and you got to have the skeptics and people that don't believe as well. And personally, I love doing magic on skeptics because if you kind of make them a believer, it kind of like shows that perhaps you've got something special going on there. Just many, many, many things that I love about magic. Um, I've got a quick story actually. I can't remember the exact location, but it was definitely at one of my gigs. And there was somebody, I'm trying to remember now. It was definitely about, it was definitely a skeptic. And I was, I was in a group, I was showing magic to a group of people. And 
everybody was saying, oh, do it to, do it to him, do it to him. He's a skeptic. And I, I went, I think I said to him, I'm trying to really remember this now. I remember it. I said, do you, do you like money? He was like, no, I don't really believe it. And he wasn't being like shit about it or anything. He was definitely wanted to see it. And I remember I showed him something and he absolutely just got shocked and was like, what? How the hell did you do that? And it's one of them things where the power of magic, it's how you present it as a magician as well. And it comes across in many different ways. And just like I said before to that sceptic, I possibly could have turned him into a believer. So it's just the power that magic has on someone is why I love it. The magic community. What have I got to say? Because, listen, if anybody's listened to my last video, right, and they've gone like... Oh man, Ricky hates magic, he hates the magic community, man. I know I said there was shit products in the market, but come on, guys. There's more great products on the market than shit products, man. This is why I've, this is why I've done this part two video, do you know what I mean? There are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant products on the market, even if you're a beginner or just curious about magic. You can buy a load of magic tricks online. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and be like, you've got to go on YouTube and like see everything for free. By all means, as a beginner, you can do that. But if you really want to get into your magic and you want to learn like the good stuff, you need to read your books and you need to learn like your other stuff as well, like video downloads and like buying stuff and trying them out. Personally, for me, I'm more of a visual learner. However, I'm trying to get into books again. Uh, it's just not really my cup of tea but i know i have to improve on that but yeah the, so much great products on the market and i remember buying a certain product and i don't really want to give it away but for the magicians that know you know but for you that's listening and you don't know what i'm talking about this is why magic's a mystery but i'm gonna let you in on this little story so I remember buying my first magic trick that I bought and I was over the moon because it was the first time I had like a debit card and I could like buy stuff online and I was like going crazy. I was like, oh my God, I think I spent like four pound on this trick, but I knew that all the magicians were doing it. So I kind of wanted to fit in and I couldn't wait to perform it. So when it came through the post and I was like over the moon because I was like, oh my God, it's that simple, but that powerful. Bearing in mind this, I was like 14 at the time. So I go, I think, I can't remember who I did it. I must have done it on like my parents or something like that. And I remember saying it was either to, it could have been my sisters actually. I remember going up to, to one of my family members anyway, going, just think of a card and the thought of them. And I went, okay, I've got a pack of cards here. Just name that card out loud and they'd say something like, I don't know, the five of hearts. And I'd go... Okay, do you, want to, do you want to change your mind? And they went, no. And I went, okay, so you just thought of the five of hearts. You've seen this playing card inside the whole entire time. Nothing or no one, anyone, no one's touched it. You see, the reason why I have these pack of cards is because I turned one card upside down into the pack. And then I'd open the pack and I'd spread through. All the cards are facing up except for one. Tell them to pull that card out, which is upside down. They'll flip it over. It's the five of hearts. Honestly, the best piece of investment I have ever invested in as a first time trick that I bought online. Honestly, I still I still use it to this day, by the way. So if you ever bump into me or if I'm at a gig or if you ever come into the shop, you know what I mean? Perhaps you could be the lucky person that uh, gets to experience that as well. But yeah, that is that is a legendary product on the market and the best, simple best and for the beginners. And anyone can do it, bro. David Blaine's done it, Dynamo's done it, everyone's done it. And this is why there's so much good in the magic community. It's better than ever and the products on the market are quality sometimes very very easy to learn sometimes very very hard to learn depending on your skill on what you are as a magician sometimes the 
the things that we do as magicians is we try and buy everything all at once and trying to learn everything and something that I'm get well definitely better at is trying to buy one thing and then perfect that over time and that particular product that I bought is something that I have uh, perfected over time so yeah there's so much stuff on the market and the magic community like I said it's better than ever I love the magic community and it, I've got back into it recently I didn't really um, invest my time into just watching things and researching things about the magic community and it's kind of brought my love back into to that part it's not like I didn't love it but I, I knew about it but I didn't really kind of a look I was kind of like outside with a blindfold on and I've took the blindfold off and I've opened the door and gone oh hello is this what's been going on so yeah there's one thing that I really like and you should definitely check it out it's Murphy's Magic uh, they release a new like set of products every week that are like best selling or new or something that's really great and I've been really intrigued by that and I've really like for the past few months I've been really watching them and I actually bought a particular product off them because it it fits my style completely like honestly to to the T and without them I would never have known that because there's so much this is this is getting back to my point where everything's so easy and so accessible now Whereas if this were about 12 years ago, I probably wouldn't have known. Or maybe I might have known through a different type of media, through an email or something like that. But this was through a YouTube video of their product reviews and what's new on the market. So, yeah, you may see something in the future, perhaps, and I may link it back to this video. However, getting back to my point, it's so accessible. And that's what I love about the magic community, because it's not just talking about the product to buy they're talking about what it is now and there's more reviews and there's more interest to other magicians that are beginners intermediate or expert or professional whatever you want to call it there's just so much variety out there now that the magic community is really for anybody it's open for anyone whereas before they were trying to get people in but there weren't as many coming in because there wasn't that much interest really around magic and i've got to be honest with that there wasn't really, it wasn't really talked about. Obviously, you had your David Copperfields, your Paul Daniels in the UK, your Tommy Coopers. But for me, I feel like magic's going up now. And the one thing that really put a smile on my face is David Copperfield, because he's going to make the moon disappear next year. And I, honestly, I didn't, I wasn't like born in the era of David Copperfield, like live on TV without social media and stuff like that. I've seen his stuff on YouTube now, but honestly, I cannot wait for that because I get to experience that moment that many, many adults and elderly adults experienced for the first time back in the day. So I'm really looking forward to that. So it's kind of like come come full circle for for, for me, really. Yeah, so let's let's check out let's check out some of the points. But come on, before we do that, guys, come on. How how are you finding this episode? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to like the video. What are you talking about, man? Like the video. Make sure to subscribe, rate wherever you're listening to. You know, hit me up on social media as well. If you want me to talk about anything in particular, let me know. You know, your boys here. You know, we're in the shop every Monday. I know I release this on a Saturday or a Sunday. But come on, man, you guys know what the score is right now. If you've been watching or listening this long, come on. you got to do something. you got to do something for me because I'm putting some effort into these videos, man. You know, your boy's here with the notes and everything. So, yeah, let, let me see uh, what we got here. We've got a point that I've made, and I've, I've touched on it very vaguely, but I'm going to go more in-depth on it. There's a lot of talented magicians out there. There really are a lot of talented magicians out there. And I feel like that's the best thing about it because social media amplifies a lot of people now. And I feel like if you are at the top of your game, you will stay there. If you're just a one-trick wonder, you'll go down. And I feel like the magicians that are staying up and a lot talented and still there on social media to this day, you can tell that they've put the work in. I'm not talking about fake magic, I'm talking about magicians on social media. 
So a lot of talented magicians there, and you can you know who's on top of the game because if you keep seeing them in your feed, whether you like the video or not, if you keep seeing them in your feed, it means that they're doing something right. Yes, they could trick the algorithm, but I feel like a good percentage, like over fifty percent, is into their hard work and dedication to the craft, and that's what I love about magic because. It just shows how good you actually are. Are you really serious about the craft? Or are you just like, want to do something for views and money? Because I feel like magic isn't that. I feel like you've got to have a purpose there to serve others and have to provide the greatest experience possible for whoever's watching or you're performing to. And like I said in the last few episodes, you know, I've just recently discovered this, even though it's plain sight in front of my face. So I feel like the talented magicians out there help other magicians as well. It's kind of like healthy competition. And I look at all these magicians as well out there. And I always think to myself, you know what, that's amazing. You know, they, they took something so simple and they put their own twist on it. And that's why I'm inspired now doing this about the shop. You know, look, your boy's leaned over now. You know, you know, this is this is serious talk. But yeah, uh, I feel like this is what it is now in this day and age. You can you can be inspired by anyone and you can kind of just make it your own and that's what I love doing. I love I love the healthy competition, whether that be with your magician friends or people that are just blown to mainstream like Dynamo, David Blaine, etc. Something that David Blaine can do, a magic trick, somebody like me can do. But it's just a matter of who's known and who's not. And that's basically how it is for anything in life, whatever industry you're in. And that's the thing I love about it is because you're trying to build yourself up. You're trying to build a brand. You're trying to build your audience. And you've got to have that one thing, which for me is magic and which is why I love it so much. And this is why I'm never going to stop, guys. Is because you're going to see me here into the shop and you're going to see me doing some stuff in the future, which could possibly help me reach that level in the future but guys that topic perhaps is maybe for a future video of my goals for magic you never know we could make it for something for next week or maybe next year i'll i'll think about it guys but look guys if you enjoyed this episode make sure to give it a like um and yeah subscribe man what are you doing watching you've come this far subscribe uh shout outs to everybody out there man that show love and support there is one particular person that i want to shout out right now so if you're still listening to this cal yes that's right callum gamble how are you doing mate um cal is a very very good friend of mine he is one of the top lads and one of the best mates you could ever have uh callum gamble make sure to give him a follow he has actually released a book which is brilliant because he is giving awareness to autism his experiences in there and how you can help people that have autism and you know it shows all the things that he's been through as a human being through the entirety of the book so guys i'm going to put a link in the description to that as well please help my mate out there uh cal the reason why i shouted you out mate is because you can't you commented on my last video i really do respect you uh you to sit through all the podcast episodes that i've recently uploaded and listen to them and i really appreciated uh, your feedback from that as well mate so if you come this far i really appreciate that cal uh shout outs to you mate and listen everyone i'll be back next week uh, your boy's about to bounce now. You know, happy Halloween. Your boy's got all the uh, the decorations up in the shop for Halloween. You know, don't forget your little pick and mix sweets and stuff like that for your trick-or-treaters. Uh, your boy's going to be doing tricks, no treats. But I'm in the shop as well, so it could be a treat, no trick. We'll see. But, hey, that rhymed, you know. I'm not a rapper. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy, Ricky Tura. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Peace, stay strong, and remember always, follow your dreams.